News at Noon begins now. There is a new program in Washington State that puts money in the hands of gun owners. But first, they have to hand over their bump stocks. Well, forget about having to spring forward or fall back. A move to stay on daylight saving time year round is one step closer to reality. And we've been waiting for signs of spring, for signs of life. Temperatures are finally going to start warming up this weekend. Plus, major companies are pulling contracts and ending endorsement deals for actress Lori Loughlin and her daughter. It is part of the fallout of a huge college bribery scandal. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Laura Papetti. And I'm Jen York. Well, we are warming up as we head into the holiday weekend. Michelle Boss is in for Evan Arani. Warming up finally, finally. I am not going to mention the word snow in the forecast at all. I'm going to be just talking about some much more spring like weather, some warmer temperatures and some sunshine. We're actually seeing some pretty nice blue skies out at the Colville Airport right now. It's a little bit cloudier here in the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, but we should see a little bit more blue sky later this afternoon as we check out satellite and radar. Of course, no precipitation across the northwest right now. You can see those clouds kind of hugging Spokane, Coeur d'Alene and areas to the southeast, but seeing some clear skies to our west and northwest and we'll see some of that drier air this afternoon. But what's really important are the temperatures. Here we are at noon and we are already well above freezing. 37 degrees in Spokane, 36 in Coeur d'Alene, already 40 in St. Mary's, near 40 in Pullman in the lower 40s in Lewiston right now. The next 12 hours looking pretty good. A little bit more sunshine expected to move in for this afternoon. High temperatures warming up into the low to mid 40s. Overnight we'll see a few more clouds, maybe some patchy freezing fog, but it's definitely not going to get as cold as we have seen uh, over the last six weeks or so. Here's a look at this weekend looking pretty good for both the St. Patrick's Day Parade and for St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. We're looking at partly sunny skies for both days and high temperatures in the middle and upper 40s. Just beautiful. All right, Michelle, thank you. A mass shooting in New Zealand left at least 49 people dead and dozens more seriously injured. So New Zealand's prime minister is calling it a terrorist attack fueled by hate. Authorities say the attackers targeted Muslims at two mosques in Christchurch. They were full with people attending Friday prayers. Authorities arrested the 28-year-old Australian man and charged him with murder. The suspect reportedly posted a 74-page racist manifesto online. He had said in that supposedly today's killings are revenge for an ISIS-inspired terror attack in Sweden that happened two years ago. This is the deadliest mass shooting in that country's history. We condemn this attack and the ideology behind it. This act of terror goes against the core of what New Zealand stands for, diversity, kindness and compassion. All leaders condemn the attacks today at the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva and had a moment of silence, as you see there. Well, you can read more about this story right now on creme.com. You can also find that information on the Creme 2 mobile app. All right, it is. 1203 right now, Washington State will pay bump stock owners $150 when they turn in the soon to be illegal devices. There are several dates and locations for that buyback here in the Spokane area. The first times are Sunday and Monday from 10 to 4 at the Washington State Patrol building near the Spokane International Airport. And we do have much more information that's all located on creme.com. Washington state lawmakers passed two bills in both the House and Senate to stay on daylight saving time. That means we would not have to change our clocks twice a year. Both bills have bipartisan support. One bill says changing the time on clocks causes negative impacts on public health. Well, now that both bills passed the House and the Senate, they will go to the opposing chambers for review. Today, investigators will attempt to access the black box from the Boeing 737 MAX 8 that crashed in Ethiopia. New satellite data showing the flight pitched up and down after takeoff, which was similar to what happened to the Lion airplane that crashed in Indonesia last fall. The Seattle Times also is reporting that authorities found the plane's jack screw. That part moves the horizontal tail of the aircraft. The part shows the tail of the plane was in an unusual position. The jack screw had a similar problem in the Indonesian crash. More than 40 countries, including the U.S., has now grounded the aircraft. In the meantime, Boeing is pausing new deliveries of the jets. That could cost the company millions of dollars.
I think it was a very uh, reasonable decision. Uh, might even been able to be made a little earlier, given at least what was apparent to me about the, the, the similarities of the incidents. Washington Governor Jay Inslee weighed in there on the grounding. Boeing leaders say they support the move as a precautionary step. Leaders, though, are reiterating they have full confidence in their planes. The Hallmark Channel is cutting its ties with actress Lori Loughlin. This comes following her arrest in a nationwide college admission scam. Loughlin and her husband are both accused of paying half a million dollars to get their two daughters into the University of Southern California. Here you go. These are on the house. Well, Lachlan was a main staple of the Hallmark Channel. She appeared in the period piece, the reoccurring theme, the period piece, When Calls the Heart, and many of the network's Christmas movies. The channel's parent company said it was saddened by the allegations against Lachlan. Well, Lachlan's daughter, social media influencer Olivia Jade, is also losing sponsors because of the scandal. Sephora and Tresemme terminated deals with Jade. Leaders at USC say both of Lachlan's daughters are still currently enrolled, but in the wake of the scam, their future on campus remains unclear. Leaders also say the university will deny admission to at least six applicants allegedly connected to that scandal. All right, it is 12.06 right now, and we're getting to the bottom of a claim out there mm -hmm. about Calico cats. Some people say, in fact, I've been told this over and over, that Calico cats are only female, so we set out to verify.